Hey guys, what is up? The Neocubist here. Welcome to episode 3 of my Minecraft Hardcore Survival Let's Play. So, we've accomplished quite a bit, so if you've missed the first two episodes, I highly encourage you to go back and watch them. I don't want to spoil too much, but we've done some pretty awesome things, and they're definitely worth watching. Um, but I'm biased, so don't listen to me. If you want to go watch them, go watch them. If you don't, you want to start here, that is completely fine. But for those of you who came back to the series, thank you so much for watching another episode. Um, I got some more salmon. I also got some more bones. And I'll be honest, I, I waited to record this episode because I wanted the wheat to grow a little bit down here so I could take a thumbnail picture. Because this house is thumbnail worthy. Um, I don't build a whole lot of houses that I'm proud of in Minecraft Survival, but this is definitely one of them. Um, I also gather a little bit of wheat from our actual riverside farm. As you can tell, we have quite a bit of, of, of animals. Quite a bit. Um, so we're going to breed them all really quick here. And then we're going to start a sugarcane farm. We're going to go caving. We're going to go exploring. There's a ton of fun stuff happening in this episode. Let me just get this out of the way first of all. How many of there are... How many of them... How many of them cows are there here? Seriously though, how many cows? Oh my goodness. I don't know if I can get them all. There's so many. There's so many. We got so lucky when we built this pen. We got so lucky that the mobs actually just walked straight into it. Two of the cows walked straight into this thing. I don't know how, but somehow, some way, they did. So we did spot a little bit of sugar cane over here. So we're going to go grab that and start a little bit of a farm. We don't need like a huge amount. We just need enough to get enchanting going. Um, we're going to try to do all the achievements. And so far, we have done, we don't have a bucket of lava, but we've done a pretty good bit of achievements. Obviously, not too much in here. Um, not too much here either. Breed all the animals. Oh, no. <laughs> It's going to be it's going to be a fun little journey. That's all I got to say to do all the advancements, but it's going to be worth it. And we also have the world's best house just because of all the salmon that spawn right here. You can tell I have 63 salmon in my inventory. You want to know how I got all that salmon? This. They keep spawning right in front of my house and I literally just walk out and just gather fish fillet. I mean, hey, it's really not a bad <laughs> it's not a bad deal. I feel like we could make some sort of salmon farm out of this whole deal, but I don't know. I honestly don't know how any of that works. I don't know why they keep spawning here, but kind of awesome. So I'm going to get prepared to go adventuring a little bit. It's going to be kind of dangerous. We have full iron armor um, from like the first episode. So we, we got pretty far in the little bit of, you know, the series we've gone through. And uh, yeah, we have quite a bit of food as well. I'm trying to see. We don't have anything cooking up. I don't want to keep a bunch of this stuff on me. I wish I had enough to make hmm, some sort of anvil to combine these guys. But for now, we're just going to bring this broken bow probably gonna need more tools hold on let me set up my inventory for this so if you guys are interested i'm in playing this hardcore world i'm on java 1.16.3 and if i do slash seed this is what it gives you it's not what i had originally typed but that's the seed down there if that interests you we got a bunch of stuff off the bat like a double mob spawn off the bat it was super duper lucky um, so if you want to experience that too, feel free. You can always come on here and play along with me. Um, but we're going to go caving for now. And we're also going to do a little bit of exploration because we have not explored very much. But to start off, we're going to gather a little bit of wood just so that we have some for when we go underground. Because I would prefer not to die from not being able to craft. Now, I did see this cave a while back when I was walking around over here. And there's pretty good a bit of iron. Oh, oh my goodness. I'm going to try, you know, these guys are easy to take out. I'm going to save that for when there's some skeletons. Because I'm not too worried off the bat about, you know, zombies. It's mainly skeletons that I'm worried about. I don't really care. The zombies are easy. It's just in hardcore, the stakes are so high and I don't want to die. Like, I cannot express to you how awesome this world is. I really don't want to lose the world. Um, but yeah, we saw those resources. I am going to gather them off camera because you don't want to watch this. I promise. There we go. It is satisfying to pick it all up, so I will show you that, but I won't show you me just, like, doing this. And there we go. Okay, so that should be a good bit of coal. We already have a good bit, but we, you know, we're, we obviously are in the beginning of the game, so we use a whole ton of it. Um, I'm mainly concerned about iron and diamonds. Now, I know that getting diamonds is not something you can just do very easily. Eh, I might as well get the coal. I'm not that far in the game. Hold on. I'm just so deathly worried that something is going to run up behind me like a creeper and just go tss. I'm so worried, dude. And there goes our pickaxe. So we should probably craft a crafting table. That's why I brought those exact things, because I know that I am going to mess up and not bring enough pickaxes. We're probably going to just make two. 
Uh, we'll probably need them. And then a shovel as well because it's almost broken. But yep, that's all the coal that I've gotten. Um, you know, almost a stack already. I don't think we're going to need more than this. So we're just going to... You know what? I'm not going to leave. The, I was going to say we're going to leave the last three. But I just got to gather all of it. It'll, it'll just bother me if I leave those. Let's go get this iron and let's see if we can find a better cave. Because this one is kind of... Well, you saw the end of it, and it did not go very deep. And I'm looking for diamonds, guys. We're going for gold off the bat here. We're not going for some, we're not going for some noob materials. Okay, we're going for diamond. Let me get this and the coal. There is a ton of iron in here. I got a little bit of that coal, and then the iron that I was mining when I paused it. And I don't know. It just feels like we're getting a lot of stuff very quickly. I mean, I guess that's how every world is, kind of, but. We got a dun two dungeons off the bat. We got just the best salmon farm in the world. Unintentional salmon farm. Um, a good cow farm already. And we're only on the third episode, so we're, we're progressing pretty quickly. And look, we got some saplings finally. Is this a ravine? That's the most baby ravine I've ever seen. Look at it. It's so tiny. Huh. I didn't know they had spawn modifiers like that. Oh, well, there's its father. Oh, let's go check this out. Oh, it's a big one. Oh, no, it's not. It's not even that big at all. Only thing I'm interested in is the iron, but I'm not interested enough to go down in there and risk dying. Um, let's see if we can find a village. That's one thing I really would love to find. Let's just go do a little bit of exploring. We have not explored this world a whole ton. Um, our house is right there. I don't think we'll lose that very easily. I say that, but I'm going <clears> to... <throat> crossing my fingers when I say it, because... Oh, you know. You know how that goes. You, you can lose stuff pretty easily if you're not paying attention. Oh, and you can also just fall into a hole very easily if you're not paying attention. We can do a little MLG water bucket here. And then we can grab this iron. I'm not going to stand on it. I'm, I'm trying to play extra careful because, you know, you, you know, it's hardcore. And I would prefer not to just fall into something really stupid and die. And I'm trying to look around and make sure... Any gravel? No. Okay. <laughs> Try to cover all my bases here, guys. You never know, okay? Um, we already have, like, a pretty healthy bit of iron. We already have full iron armor, so the only thing we're going to need it for is to make more iron pickaxes until we get diamond. Um, and I need to get some obsidian. But yeah, I mainly want to find a village because it's there's some achievements for that, and there's also probably some decent loot. Alpacas. Or sheeps? No. These are... These are <laughs> I make the funniest noises. Okay. Uh, there's a beehive. Nice. That's good to know. This is a beautiful world. It really is. I'm, I'm really happy with the spawn that we got. Um, we might as well get the pumpkins because we don't have a pumpkin farm and maybe we want some pumpkins. So let's just grab these. Yes, we can make pumpkin pie. We got to farm all the animals for all the achievements. So um, we're going to, you know, probably need that. I'm going to gather this as well. We don't really have... We only had those initial three that we had planted. So this should help a ton as far as getting more going. And there's iron in the water. I can't say I've seen that very many times. How much sugar cane is that? 11? Okay. Let's see. We're going to run right on over here because some stuff looks cool over here. Uh, might as well get on top of this hill. It, over there, it just looks like a nice little terrain. I don't know. It's a flower forest as well. Oh, okay. That means we can do some interesting builds and get some interesting sheep co colors. Oh, my God. That's so beautiful. Dude, that's the most beautiful thing in the world. Well, I'm going to end the series here. I've, I've, oh, my God. That's so beautiful. Oh, that's so beautiful, dude. This is the best world ever. I'm serious. This is like the best world ever. You guys got to hop on this seed. You guys got to hop on right now on Java. Leave a like for the seed, guys. And also leave a like for the series if you want to see more of it. Um, if you want to see more, yeah, leaving a like is probably the best way to... Uh, what, what was that noise when I landed? It was so like ear-shatteringly high-pitched. It was like... What was that? I'm mainly interested in this sugar cane over here. Another beehive I just saw when zooming in. Cool. But yeah, that over there, what is that? And there's more sugar cane. We're going to go look at that in person because that looks beautiful. Now, we already have our home, uh, but that is only our first home. Maybe we can build our second one over here. Oh, my goodness. That's so pretty. And there's all these flowers, too. Hmm. Interesting. I'm glad I went exploring in this direction. That's for dang sure. 
No village, but I'm completely happy with what I've found. I, this terrain is just so beautiful. What is this? I mean, sunflower plains. I know this is the flower forest, but why is it so like... Whoa, dude. That's that's just... That's just like... That's like something you... That's like a... That's like a book. A book cover. That's not the right word. <laughs> a book cover. That's like a book cover. Huh. <laughs> no, that's just like... That's like thumbnail worthy, isn't it? I mean, I don't know. That probably will not end up being the thumbnail, but either way, it looks pretty good. I'm kind of scared. I see some mobs down in there, <laughs> under there. We're going to have to go back because I realize that it's about to become dark and I would prefer not to just die randomly. So we're going to hopefully make it back in time for it to not be night. I should have brought a bed with me because I completely forgot. I mean, you know, the respawn point doesn't really matter, but I should probably always have a bed on me because if it switches to night, I mean, it's going to end up with me just going into a hole and not coming out until it is day. So I will meet you guys back at the house. Hopefully we can make it in time. And it looks like we made it just in the nick of time. It just started getting kind of scarily dark. So that's awesome. So we did enough overworld exploring. We'll probably do more in future episodes, but I'm more interested in getting diamonds than anything. So we're going to go now and we're going to look. Hopefully we can find something good. And, you know, if we can't, we can't. If we can, we can. It's all it's all good. I was thinking I should put up my inventory, but I mean, if I die, I'm going to lose everything anyways. But you know what? We'll put up some stuff just because I prefer not to carry all of this around with me. But it doesn't matter, right? Like if you die, you're dead. So it's not like it really matters. So it's kind of it's kind of weird. You know, it's weird playing hardcore because I'm having to think about the fact that if I die, I'm done for. Like there's no second tries on this. So I'm trying just to prepare myself mentally for losing this world. And I asked this in another episode, but how does it feel to lose a hardcore world, especially one you put all this time into? Is I'm, you know, trying to make this world look really, really good, and I'm going to be very upset if I just die. Um, I think we're going to build a mine, so give me a moment. I'm going to put, like, a mine, like, right over here. Um, I don't really know how to build a mine, per se, but I'm going to try to do something that is akin to a mine. Um, we'll just take some random wood materials here, maybe some even some mo mossy cobble. Hmm, I'm not so sure. We don't really have a whole lot of wood, so I'll go gather some. And then we're just going to make something like a mine. I don't know. Just somewhere I can get underground. I'll dig most of it out off camera because I don't want to make you guys watch me staircase down to layer 11. And then I'm just going to do some strip mining because I feel like... I feel like caving is so dangerous and hardcore. As that's usually where I die is either from falling or if I'm in a cave. Because caves, you can't really predict what's going to be around that next corner. Whether it's gravel that falls on your head, a lava pocket, a skeleton, and a lava pocket, a, ske a skeleton plus gravel plus a lava pocket, now that would be that would be a triple threat. I'm gonna tell you right now that would be that would be absolutely terrible. I would be very upset if I got just destroyed like that. I think I'm gonna go on Google Images and search like a Minecraft mine and see if I can find a good design because I'm I'm thinking in my head and I can't really I don't know nothing's really coming up in my brain for like a mine. So we'll do that just, you know, with Google Images. It'll help out. I'm going to see what's over this hill. Because I am kind of curious. Is it just more of this nasty mountain terrain? Maybe. Maybe there's a village, though. Maybe there's a village. Keep our keep our fingers and toes crossed. Let's see. Is there a village? It does not appear as though there is a village, but we can check. We'll go up here, and that's the farthest I'm going to go. Wow. That's a biome and a half. Okay. So that's pretty much it. So yeah, there's not a whole ton around here, but good to know that there's nothing over in this direction. I mean, obviously there's something over in that direction. Like eventually well, maybe the stronghold's over there or something. But yeah, I'm going to start building a mine and I'll show you guys what I end up with. I'm just going to build it kind of right next to the house, uh, like right there. If you can hear me clicking, like right there. So let's do it. Okay, so I just said inspiration galore. We're not going to be building our mine that close to the house. I don't think that's a good idea. We're actually going to build it over here where we have like a nice flat area that we can kind of dig into and start a staircase on. I think this will be a good area. So let me dig out a little bit of the dirt here. Okay, so now that we have something like this, I think, we can, I, think I can work with this and build something. I looked at a few pictures and then I realized that... Um, 
I don't know. I realized that I can probably come up with something better than what I'm seeing here just from my own mind. So we're going to try to do something. Now, there is a f pretty big chance, pretty big chance that I'm going to build something and it's going to be embarrassingly bad. Uh, but here's to hoping that that's not the case. Uh, you know, you never know with me. I could build something good. I could build something bad. Um, I guess that's kind of how everyone is. I sh oh, I did bring my mossy cobblestone. I was going to say, I should have brought my mossy cobblestone here. And I'm going to try to make it look like... Hmm, I don't know. I don't really know how to do this. I just kind of want to make my own thing. And we're going to see how it turns out. So give me a second. I'm going to play around with some just basic designs here. And we're going to see what sticks. Okay, so I think I've gotten something I'm sort of happy with. Um, we're just going to call it good here. I'm not going to focus too much on making just a mine. Um, but that's somewhat of a good entrance. I mean, it's not like the best thing in the world, but that's not what I'm going for. Um, I'm not like, you know, the best builder ever. So I'm just going to try to kind of do whatever feels right. Um, and then we're going to make some sort of bridge over to this side so that we can actually get into our mine. Um, a bridge would be kind of nice. So we're just going to do something like this for now. We may make the bridge a little bit fancier in the future, but for now, just a little nice little wooden post is not, it doesn't look too much of an eyesore, I suppose. So we'll do something like this. We're going to run out of logs. I know. We'll try to make it. That may actually be the perfect amount. Okay, cool. And then we could just top those with some slabs made of probably mossy cobblestone. If there is slab variants of that, there is. That's actually perfect. And then we could just kind of put some torches on the sides. Doesn't really matter where. Kind of put those all willy nilly wherever you feel like they look good. Yep. Just like that. Um, they're all on the same side, but <laughs> doesn't really matter. Cool. Okay. So now we have somewhat of a mine. Now we're just going to start tunneling downwards. Um, I'm not going to tunnel down like a huge, uh, I'm just going to kind of tunnel down like this. I hope that doesn't disappoint anyone, but I'm going to go down to layer 11 unless I encounter a cave. And uh, until then, I, oh, it's over here. Oh, there's a skeleton in there. Okay, well, hello there, buddy. How are you doing? We're just going to, you know what, we are going to fence that off, but we're also going to kill this skeleton. You won't hit me a third time now, will you, bud? There we go. Cool. This is all filled in. I think that's a good... Yeah. Okay. And then we'll just fill this in with fence. And now we can continue to tunnel down. Again, I will show you a cave if I find it or any good ores. But until I reach layer 11, I will see you in the future. All right. Well, I didn't get to mine very long at all. And uh, I've kind of encountered somewhat of a cave. Uh, but before I go into that, I'm going to actually go and sleep. Because I just noticed that it's dark. And I would really prefer to just sleep now and not have to deal with all the monsters. So let's go do that. And then I'll show you the cave I found. I haven't looked at it. It may just be like a small little thing, but it may actually be a big cave system. I don't want to go in a cave system because I feel like I'm going to die. But if I have to, I have to, I guess. All right. Well, let's see uh, what is in here because I really don't know what's down in here. Hopefully it's nothing insane. Hopefully it's just a little tiny cave, but if it's not a tiny cave, we'll explore it a little bit, but I really am just so nervous about caves, in hardcore at least. Usually that's like my go-to. I love going caving. I feel like that's the best way to find stuff, and in gener like generally it is, but in hardcore, do you want to risk it? I don't know. Let's find out. Is there anything in here, or is it just a little tiny cave? Okay, so there was something over in that direction. That's a bust. There's a creeper there. That's the first creeper I've actually seen in hardcore. So we're just gonna make sure it does not kill us. We're just gonna we're gonna take it out like that. Okay. Let's see here. Sorry, I'm so used to having my pickaxe right next to my sword. Okay, okay, we got to do this. We okay, okay, okay. I see how this is gonna go. Let's just take them out like this. Not even going to deal with this skeleton. It's not worth it. All right. I can take out a creeper by hand. I mean, I have full iron armor, so I'm not too worried about the creeper. Um, but I would prefer to not see one. Come on. Come on. Blow up. Kill your zombie. Thank you, sir. Kind of an OG play right there. It's like my favorite thing to do is have other mobs kill other mobs. We're at level 25 already. Okay, so there's some good, decent stuff down here. Looks like we're getting really low in the world, so maybe this is a good cave. And it's not that it might it's going to be a bad cave. It's that I'm going to die in a cave. And I hear so many mobs, and I'm so nervous. Please. 
Oh, God. This makes mining so much more high stakes, which makes it so much more fun. I just feel like I mean, I'm still having fun with the vanilla Let's Play series, but this is just on another level of fun for me right now, at least. Um, I think it's just because of, well, the stakes are high here. And I didn't even look down this dark cave to see if anything was coming towards me. My, my brain's just like, ooh, iron. That's not a good way to be in hardcore. Not a good way to be at all. I'm going to try. I'm, I'm going to promise you guys. I am going to try to make this last as long as I can. But I guess ultimately when the series ends, it's probably going to be because of something stupid I do. And I'm going to be very apologetic and I'm going to be I'm going to be upset with myself, but I'm not going to I'm not going to. Wow. What is going on down there? We're just going to not we're just not going to find out. We're just going to do that. I actually know exactly what's happening down there. I'm going to grab that. Any mobs? Any mobs? Probably should have found that out before I started. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> I die from a lava flow. Now, that would be... <laughs> that would be interesting. Oh! 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 Oh, my God. Oh, my God. My heart is... My heart is stopping. Why can't I sprint? Why can't I sprint? Why is this water doing this? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Dude, what was that? What are the chances of a skeleton hitting me into lava just like that? And then I didn't even get my water bucket back. I'm more upset about the water bucket. Where are you, skeleton? I want you to know that you caused me to have a heart attack. I don't. Ha, you missed and I hit you. I really don't appreciate it, Mr. Skeleton. The water made it where I couldn't sprint and it was making me like very uneasy because, you know, I wanted to sprint. Ooh, our first little... uh. First little ore find. We don't have any coal on us. We're going to remove this um, lava flow. It is dangerous, and I would prefer for it to just not exist. That would make me so much... That would make me feel so much better. So much better. Okay, so we're going to get this going. We're going to get some sticks. Wow, our inventory is cram full of junk. Hmm. Maybe I should put a barrel over there, but that's a pretty good find. You know, I mean, it's not the best find, but again, you know, we're just starting out here, so we're going to... We're gonna, I hear mobs. I hear mobs and I don't like it. I hear mobs and I don't like it. I'm going to take a screenshot. That's also a way I could probably die is from taking thumbnail pictures. I feel like that's when I'm at my most vulnerable because I'm not I'm not thinking. I'm just okay. That never happens. What are the chances? Is there more around here? I guess not. What is the chance of that though? Just a random like like seriously, what is the chance of that? I don't know how rare it is for spawn to stone, for spawn to stone, for stone to spawn as a silverfish block, but I'm fairly certain that's a pretty rare event. So we're getting the good with the bad here, guys. But that could that could be what takes us out as a silverfish. It really could be. I have no doubt in the silverfish. I think they could definitely take me out. Something dumb is going to take me out. I just have a deep dark feeling within that something is going to happen that is just so stupid. But hopefully it doesn't happen very soon. Hopefully it happens at like episode 80, where at least I have a solid series out of the world. Because I'm having fun. I, I don't want to quit. <laughs> I'll be honest. I don't want to quit, okay? Uh, there we go. And that's a good bit of torches. Let's find out what's down here. Aside from all this lava. A creeper. That's comforting. What was that noise? Oh, it's a witch. Where's the witch at? Are you over here? Where's this witch at? I am not going to play around with the witch. I think they could take me out very easy. Okay, so they're up there. Okay. Oh my god! My brain can't take all the stress, dude. My brain- Oh, that's the wrong thing. My brain cannot take all this stress, dude. I can't do it. <laughs> it's too stressful. I'm quitting this heart. <gasps> no, 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 no. Don't you poison me. Don't you poison me. No, 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 no. Don't you poison me. Okay. That was actually... How many arrows do I have? Ten arrows. Okay. I need to pick and choose my battles that I fight with the bow and arrow because if I use the bow for the wrong thing, I'm not going to have the arrows when I need them most. Oh, I'm in a bad situation. If something follows me in here, I'm dead. Okay, there's a creeper down there. We're just going to take that out from range. What? Don't hit the bat. That's like the... Oh, my goodness. 
like the complete opposite of what I want to hit. It's like, oh, you want to shoot the bat with your arrow, huh? Okay, here you go. Nice, now you've killed a bat with an arrow. Congratulations, is that not an achievement? Is that not an achievement, really? I mean, I guess not. That wouldn't quite make sense if it was. We're just going to take that. I'm more interested in finding diamonds. Can we find some? That's the question. Let's destroy that. No point in having that there. I'll take gold, too. I don't really know if it's too useful, but we'll take it. Okay. Oh, golden apples. That's right. Those are very useful. Is this enchanted? Why is it killing things in two shots? Oh, my God. That is the largest lava pocket I have seen in a long time. That's See, I keep going to use my bow as my pickaxe because that's usually the slot that I have my pickaxe in. So I do apologize if, it, if I keep trying to mine things with my bow and arrow, but it's not, you know, it's just a bad habit, I guess. I don't see any diamonds. Probably shouldn't be peeking over lava. Dude, I'm an idiot. And there's gravel there. That's what I'm talking about. A lava pocket, a creeper, and gravel. It's a dangerous combo, and I'm telling you, it might take me out. It very well might take me out. Are we going to find some diamonds down in here? There's a high probability that we'll find diamonds. This is a pretty big area. We're going to take the iron, though. We're also going to be so careful down here. I am so nervous, dude. I should just strip mine. We shouldn't go caving. At least not until I have something a little bit better. I think that might... Because I've never watched anyone play hardcore and I've never played it myself. So I'm not really so sure on what is kind of like, you know, the rule of thumb. I think maybe don't go caving until you have full diamond enchanted armor because you can die from very stupid stuff. And now that we can get netherite though, that'll be super helpful. But yeah, let me get a screenshot of this. Okay. I need to stop standing right here. I know that's going to make the water fall. Wow, that is so loud. What sound is that? I don't know. Maybe blocks, but I'm not going to mess with it. We're just going to leave it like it is. It is a little loud, but I can always turn it down post-production. Okay. Let's gather all of this. Hopefully, we'll find some diamonds just kind of chilling near the iron here. You know, there's a chance that we won't, but there's a chance that we will. Okay. Not going to risk that. Not worth it. Is there another lava pocket over here, though? Like a big one? I know there's probably some lava over here, but yeah, there is. Because I heard all the bubbling, and I'm like, this can't be from the same one, can it? Okay, there's probably diamonds in there, but let's go check and just make sure there's nothing here. Okay, no, none spawn there. Maybe under the redstone here? Maybe not? Okay. Nope. Okay, let's get all the iron. I just want to get every resource I see. I don't want to, like, skimp on getting anything because I'm not in a position to really stop getting iron. I don't really have a whole ton of stuff. There is some things I want to get rid of. I don't need two slabs. I can stack that. Um, I don't need this. I don't really need that. The shovel's dead. Why do I even have it? Hmm. I don't need one. Okay. If my inventory gets any more full... God, that's so loud. I'm so sorry it's so loud, too. I'll try to turn it down in post-production. If I forget, I apologize. It's not like I... It's not like I purposefully, you know, like, want to hurt your ears. It kind of hurts my ears, too. That's why I say that. I feel like it would be loud, but who knows. Okay. Now, let's see. Down in here, this is where diamonds are. But there's no diamonds. So, I'm confused where... Ow. Why is that so loud? Goodness gracious. It's hurting my ears. And I already have... I, you know, I had a, you know, an audio system in my... In my, in my car for a long time. A fairly loud one. And that didn't hurt my ears. Like, this is hurting my ears. Uh, run away. <laughs> run away from the bad, bad noises. Okay, is there anything down back in here? Mine a little bit around here just because, you know, just for good luck. Okay, no. There's too many exposed areas down here. We're just going to keep exploring them until... Until we get lucky here. Okay, this is just... More, I'm not even going to go down there. There's that gravel and I don't want to play with it. I really just... I can't I can't risk these... I can't risk these stupid easy things because it's just not worth my time. And if I were to die from something like that, I would be more upset than you know. Okay, we're going to go to that lava pocket. I said there's probably diamonds. And I think it was over here. Just like running away from the loud, scary noises. Hey, this pickaxe is about to break. Is there diamonds in here? 
I thought that those were diamonds. I really did. Um, we do have enough stuff for a pickaxe. We're going to make one here. I'm just so scared something's going to come out of nowhere, dude. I don't know. I'm getting this feeling. It's so uneasy. Let's just break this one. You know what? I'm not even going to wait for it. I'm just going to yeet it into that lava there. Ow. The noises. It's so loud. Nothing else is too loud. That's why I don't want to mess with the volume. It's just like that one thing. Just that one thing, man. It's just so loud. Okay. I thought I just exposed lava. I was like, please don't let me fall into that. All right. Let's just continue on out of here. I know we're at 30 minutes. We might go a little bit longer. I kind of want to go until I find diamonds, but I know that's kind of unrealistic because sometimes they can just be kind of a pain to find. But, you know, I have full confidence that we can do it. You know, this this world has given us very good luck so far. So I feel like I feel like we're destined to find them. So we're going to try. We're going to try our absolute best here. Okay. Nothing down over here. That's where they're going to be. That's where they're going to be for sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm smelling them. I smell the diamonds. I don't just see them. I smell them. They're very close. It's that specific smell you get in Minecraft, you know, when you're near diamonds. They're like right over here. They're like right. I got my diamond scanner on. I am detecting diamonds. They're right here. Oh, that's iron. Sorry, guys. I detected the wrong thing. I'm just kidding. They're behind this dirt right here. I'm kidding. I'm not kidding. I don't think. Hold on. Let's see. If they're behind this dirt, then I am just so smart. Not looking good so far. Yeah, I don't think there's diamonds here, but I think I discovered another lava pocket, so we'll go on and explore that. I think there's a lava pocket back here. Maybe I hear a lot of droops and bloops, whatever the noise is the lava makes. I hear a lot of it. Maybe it's back over here. Okay, just to confirm, it's all... No, there's nothing back here. Okay, well, I'm going to try to just explore these some more. If I find some diamonds, I will come back on camera. What is on fire? My crafting table? That's great. Is that a monomer for what's going to happen in the rest of this? Is monomer the right word? I don't think monomer is the right word. I think I'm using that word wrong. I could be. I very well could be. There's, there's, a, there's a big chance I'm using that word wrong. And if that's the case, I apologize to those out here to those people out there who understand how to use the word monomer. I deeply apologize. Mm, okay. Yep, we're going to do some more mining. Um, I guess I'll do it off camera. I don't know. I don't really want to strip mine, but it doesn't look like there's anything else over, at least in that direction, but I don't know. There was no other really direction that I remember. Um, I don't really remember any other areas of the cave because I don't think we discovered any other areas. We can walk over here, but I guarantee you this is just kind of a... Yeah, I don't want to go up too far. I want to stay down low, but... Mm, take a little bit of damage. Yeah, I think we're. I think all of our bases have been covered as far as every other material. We will find diamonds soon, but I'm kind of over it for now. We're not going to look anymore. Uh, but hopefully pretty soon we can find some diamonds. I don't remember where we came from exactly, but I remember there was lava here. And I remember finding... Oh, wait, I think we were up. Yeah, we were. Yes, I do remember this now. Uh, well, we found a good cave system. So hopefully when we come back in here, we'll find a... Why is there so many noises? Is it over here? Okay, yeah, probably. <laughs> We're just not going to go there. What's the point in that? I thought that was a skeleton head, but it nope, it's not. Is it dark, though? Yes, it is, isn't it? Oh, Lord. Okay, we're going to have to try to make it home. Okay, you're not you're not sneaking up on me, dude. It ain't happening. It ain't happening, dude. Oh, you're so fast. Okay. Take this guy out. Oh, I don't matter. No. No, you're not going to hit me from this far away. Okay. You might hit me. Okay. Yep. <laughs> I'm just going to turn around. And we're just going to wait it out. There's no... Oh, there's no way we're doing that, dude. I'm not risking it for the biscuit on this one. Okay, you're just gonna sit there and camp? What is this, Call of Duty? Nah, dude, you're not gonna do that. This is not This is not Valorant, this is not Call of Duty. You're not gonna sit there and wait around the corner for me. 
Okay, we have full health. We're going to do it. Oh my god, why am I doing this? Oh, it's right about to become day two, and I'm just like, yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And I just start running where I could very, very easily just die. Can we even sleep? Or is there monsters? Is that monster too close? Let's just hope not. We're just going to try to sleep. Hopefully there's nothing spawned in my house. Is there? No. Okay. That would suck if a creeper was in my house. Ah, we can sleep. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed episode three, please do leave a like down below. I would very much so appreciate it. I'm super happy to be recording a hardcore series, and it seems like it's going very, very well. So I hope you guys can sort of hear it in my voice that I've been enjoying this more than uh, anything else I've been recording as of recent. Um, I want you guys to know that you are awesome, each and every single one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode of either Vanilla or Hardcore. Bye! Also, if you want to, you can turn on post notifications so you don't miss the next episode of Hardcore. But hey, just a suggestion. If you don't want to, you don't want to. But yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye. So I was about to take this thumbnail right here, right? And I was like, Ugh, looks so empty. So we're going to go in here and we're going to add a few things. Only because also it's kind of helpful to be able to put up a few things before we go into, you know, some sort of cave system. So let's just fancy this area up just a tad bit. I'm not trying to add like a whole ton of stuff. Don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to like... You know, make this into some like super crazy like, you know, thing. But I'm trying to add, you know, just a little bit of texturing in here. You know, maybe just a tad like that. I, maybe that's too much. <laughs> maybe that's too much. But the stuff on the ceiling is fine. Um, and then also in the corner, we'll put like a, mm, you know what? We'll make we'll make a nice little pocket here, and we'll go ahead and we'll just put a crafting table down. Double that. We'll put two crafting tables down. And then we're going to put like, I don't know, some stairs here and some stairs there. Sure. And then we can make a few of these, which are beautiful items. I'm so happy they added barrels. That's like one of my more favorite items that they've added. And we can do something kind of cool in the corner here. We could do like maybe a pile of barrels. I'm trying to think how I could do this. I could actually hide it. I could hide the fact that there's not actually three. We could do 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 and do make a nice little pile of barrels. And I think that'll just, you know, add to the effect of this whole place and make it look a lot better. Okay, now I will leave you guys alone. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye.